Hello and welcome to Temino Joomla Tips. Temino Joomla Tips is a screencast about Joomla tips and tricks. I'm your host Marco and I want to thank you for watching this episode. This week I would like to show you some of the great extensions available from nonumber.nl. Nonumber.nl is the website of Peter van Westen. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. Peter is a very talented Joomla developer and on his website you can find several exceptional extensions for Joomla that I'm sure you'll find very very useful. However, because of time constraints I'm only going to show you two or three that I find particularly useful and I invite you to go to his site, download all of them and try them out. Peter's uh, uh, license is open source, so the extensions are free. However, he will take donations and he does have a license available. And uh, for you developers out there, if you use his extensions, take a trip to his page and buy the license, especially if you use them for your clients. Personally, I don't give my clients a choice. If I use his extensions and they are truly useful for the site I'm building, they are among the extensions that I give to them at the end of the development process and instruct the client to go and purchase a license. It's the right thing to do and it allows Peter and other developers like him to continue producing these great extensions. Before I proceed, I would like to thank everyone that are listening to this uh, podcast for your uh, emails and for your suggestions. I appreciate knowing that somebody out there is watching this podcast and that you find it useful. So email me, submit your suggestions and let me know what you think. And don't forget to also read my blog at conticreated.com. Let's go on and look at some of Peter's extensions. The ones that I'm going to feature in this issue of Termino Joomla Tips are my favorite ones. Re-Replacer, it allows you to replace any string with anything else all over your site. I continuously find new uses for this, so I invite you to download it, install it, and experiment with it. Modules Anywhere is another great extension. It allows you to put a module anywhere on your site, as the name says. I also use Cache Cleaner a lot. I pretty much use Cache Cleaner in every website I make now. And uh, on some website, it has been so useful that I had to wonder why something like that is not a feature in Joomla. Rather than take two trips on the administrator menu, you can simply click a button and clear your cache. By no means, these are the only extensions that I use. And I really invite you to download them all, try them out and buy a license from Peter. So let's start. The download process is very easy. I usually like to use the menu, choose the extension that I'm going to download, like for instance, uh, Re-Replacer. Once you are on a page, you'll see that there are several tabs with more information and a download button. The download button takes you to the page where you download the extension and just click on it and the extension downloads. Switch to your site, choose the file and open and install. And there it is. Couldn't be easier. One great thing about uh, Peter's extensions is that you don't need to uninstall them to upgrade to the new version. This is a, a great, great feature that saves a lot of time and makes the administration a lot easier. Since Peter upgrades his extensions quite often, it's really invaluable. Let's go take a tour of uh, Re-Replacer. Go to your component menus and click on uh, Re-Replacer. Once you are in uh, Re-Replacer's administration area, all you have to do is click on new, name your uh, replacement string. I'll call mine test. You can write a description here. And let's say that for a string, I'll use something like this. I tend to use asterisks a lot because the, it's rare that they're used in, uh, in common text. Now that we have the string to replace, in the replace field, we can enter pretty much any HTML or any text that we want. In this case, I can put this as a test, but I often put in uh, an image, uh, entire chunks of HTML, uh, PayPal buttons. This is great to insert PayPal buttons in several areas of your site without every time having to go get the code and uh, any other thing such as this one. Below, you can see that there is a quite extensive syntax help on uh, what to use, for instance, instead of commas, 
use the comma tag, uh, trailing spaces, counters. This is something that you should read and become familiar with. Up here in the search options, we can use regular expression, word search, case sensitive, thorough. And uh, one thing that I like about Peter's extensions is that they are very well documented by and large, especially the ones that he's been doing for the longest time. In essence, this last choice is a recursive uh, replacement. And I had to confess, I, I never had a chance to use it. If you open the search areas tag, you can establish where in the site you want to uh, replace that string. If it's in a feed, in the administration, only between start and end, and with the uh, end examples. Where I find the real power of this extension is here in the publishing assignments. Not to say that the other areas have any less power. Quite frankly, I haven't had a chance to use all of the different features that this extension has gained in the last few versions. And again, I invite you to do your own experimentation. But one thing that you can do that is incredibly useful in some situations is the user group levels and users. So you can actually select the user group level and uh, by doing that you can for instance substitute the string with another string for uh, guests and one for registered, one for authors, one for editor. You take your pick in the Joomla ACL. So let's say that you have a site that requires registration. You can present to your guests a string of text and once they return after signing in or registering, there'll be something else or nothing as it might be necessary. You can also target individual users by user ID, different languages, even different templates. And there is a PHP option here. Again, because of time limitation, I cannot really go into all of the different possibilities that this extension has. There are many and uh, all of them very useful depending on uh, your website. But now that we have this string, let's, uh, let's put it to work for us. Let's save this and let's go to the content. And you'll see that the, in the front end of the site, I have the Joomla features uh, article. This is a stock Virtual Mart installation. This is the Virtual Mart version that you can download from the Virtual Mart site. So let's go back here and let's get open the Joomla features. And now let's simply enter our string. Let's apply and let's go see what it looks like. Go to the page and refresh. And there is our, this is a test. It's as simple as that. I'd love to be able to show you some of the other tricks that you can do with this extension, but this is called Tamino Joomla Tips. Sometimes I stretch it to 15 minutes and do a two part series, which by the way is because of the YouTube limit on 10 minute videos. And in fact, this is the end of part one for the YouTube edition. Please refer to part two for the ending of this screencast. Thank you.